Hi, Pisces. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you're doing well. This reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Pisces. And we will look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness or the big ideas for the week, guidance, and possible outcomes. I'll also choose a couple of oracle cards for additional information. So let's just go ahead and get started with your reading. So we have the High Priestess, Major Arcana. We have the Ace of Swords in reverse, and we have the Eight of Pentacles. So the High Priestess is a card of uh, really encouraging you to listen to your inner guides, to trust your intuition, and to understand that everybody has this psychic ability. You know, everybody has that sixth sense you know, like when you're, st you're sitting by the phone and you're thinking of calling your mother or your father and then they call, you know, it is that wavelength, it's that f frequency that we just feel it and it pops in. So Thursday is a day to listen to those messages, to go within, to try to create some, maybe some space for yourself just to think, to meditate, to read, relax but to look within and to think about your spiritual side, your spiritual, spiritual self within your own life. And, uh, you know, often with the high priestess, there's a sense of secrecy, of, of a secret, of something not being revealed. And often we keep things uh, below the surface. Sometimes we don't reveal our talents. Maybe we're too shy to do so or we we keep our dreams hidden and so it's acknowledge that things are below the surface and you never know maybe your hidden talents might actually help you on your journey to finding your best purpose so again with the high priestess it's look for the messages you know pay attention to what's happening colors numbers license plates uh, interesting things that people say to you just be tuned in I think that's a nice way of putting it is to tune into yourself and tune into the world around you listen for the messages trust yourself trust your intuition and trust your hunches and uh, you know you should be in good shape when you do that so what's interesting is looking at the ace of swords in reverse. And so to me, it's really powerful to say that intuition is kind of the lead here because the Ace of Swords in reverse is uh, the sense of lack of clarity, of lack of reason or intellectual enterprise that you're having a delay or difficulty, maybe with ideas, maybe of coming to a plan and of doing your homework and understanding really how to work that plan or to create something. It also could be a lack of confidence uh, when it's in reverse. Maybe someone's been in your ear criticizing you. You know, this is a sharp blade. Can, can also relate to blunt discussions, blunt talk. And maybe it's dampened your enthusiasm for doing something uh, thinking a new way, a new approach. So let this go and focus on the intuition and focus on your own personal guide and your own spiritual uh, sense. You know, allow that to carry over for the day. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles. In the Eight of Pentacles, we see this guy picking up the engraved stone and putting on this little marker that he's making and you know this is a, the card of the apprentice who is working hard who loves what he does and so it seems that Thursday although many are not working in the US on that day some are unfortunately some um, are fortunate enough to have the day off but you know this is a card of of enjoying what you do and caring about your work product. You can see he's displaying it here, and it's a sense of pride in what you do. You have a skill that you really 
are developing. You may want to be increasing your skill set, so maybe this can lead to additional classes or certifications or opportunities to study. But this is a focused, hardworking, diligent side. So whatever that applies to, if this is for you working in, uh, you know, building out the basement uh, or refinishing furniture, whatever it may be, it's a focused approach, hardworking, and you're not letting distractions, you know, move you off course. So, you know, just in looking at this spread for Thursday, it's really the high priestess. It's all about intuition. It's all about trusting your inner guides, listening to the messages, listening to yourself, your self-talk. Let's take a look at the numbers. We have two and one is three and three and eight is 11. 11 is a master number. It's the number of service and that's a wonderful thing for Thanksgiving and gratitude and being thankful for those in your life that enrich your life and um, make you feel happier and bring you joy. So be of service. It doesn't have to be money. It can be your time and your energy and your help. Kind words, um, consideration, lending an ear. All of these things are under the umbrella of being of service and it's a, just a beautiful a uh, beautiful way to live is to give of yourself to help others. And to close the reading, let me pull an oracle card here from the, I think it's the soul's journey or the soul's purpose. I, I can't remember. I should remember, but I, I just can't. <laughs> okay. Health. Get this here. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. And when you look at intuition, it's your spiritual health. It's what lies beneath you. And not only do you have to keep your mind sharp and your mind engaged and your eyes open and your third eye open too, you know, you have to work on the physical side as well and to treat it with respect, to treat it uh, the best that you know how to. Don't have to be perfect, but you just have to be moderate uh, of, of taking care of yourself. And, uh, you know, I think when people take care of themselves and their bodies health-wise, it just leads to a happier spirit, leads to happier times and better self-confidence, uh, better feeling, more energy energy to pursue all the things that I hope that you love to pursue. So I hope that you have a wonderful day. I hope Thursday is fantastic for everybody. And um, if you enjoyed this reading, please like, share, or comment. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It's a great way to join our wonderful community that we have. And I am very grateful for all that take the time to watch these readings and to check in on the channel and to say hello. So thank you again, and I will see you tomorrow for another daily reading. Take care. Bye-bye.